Hvis man gerne vil have næsehundskalve, og næsehundshanden endnu ikke er kønsmoden, kan de som hos mennesker lade sig gøre at blive insemineret. Men der skal være fri passage til æggelederne. Og det er det, dyrlæge Robert Hermes fra Berlin er ved at undersøge hos næsehornene Emily og Eva, der står og halsnorker. Robert tager scanninger af livmor og æggestokke, og han er en af de meget få, der kan lave disse scanninger på både næsehorn og elefanter. Examining rhinos for their reproductive health is um, is difficult. You need to have special knowledge about the physiology, about the anatomy, about uh, pathology that might occur, and that is a very specific knowledge that uh, there is not many people that have. So that is the reason why we are here in order to do a very quick and safe examination and get the status of these animals. You know, working with big animals needs adaptations to the equipment that not every veterinarian has. So we have uh, special tools and uh, if an animal, for example, doesn't get pregnant because the male doesn't mate or the male is too young or the male cannot mate anymore, then we have means to do artificial insemination. We've uh, invented that technology with special catheters and the right timing when the uh, ovulation takes place. It's a very tricky business to, to pinpoint that very day. We, uh, we, we are traveling all over the world uh, looking at, in, in, at rhinos and elephants in Australia, in America, in Europe. We also go to Africa. We have means to freeze sperm and transport uh, sperm to the captive populations, and we go to Africa and uh, take sperm from wild bulls. So it's um, every around the world. Ud for Robert's billeder skulle der ikke være noget til hinanden for, at både Eva og Emily kunne blive drægtige. Der nede i stallen går de to hundnæsehorn nu mere op i, om de snart får noget at æde. Og det gør de. Maden er på vej.